The term horned in horn lark is way too grandiose to describe the dainty little notches sticking up from the male horned lark's head during breeding season. And his tinny voice is no rich male baritone either. I suppose the lark would take issue with that assessment. He figures he's all the man that lady lark could want. And he's right. His tinkling little voice is exactly what she prefers. Female birds pick mates in large part based on the male's songs. How consistent their performances, how complex their tunes, and how much gusto the singers have. The females are harsh critics. Furthermore, the females think his tiny horns are seductive, and that anything taller would just be grotesque. And this male must have a good song because he has a mate, one who appreciates his handsome white, black, and yellow face with the Fu Manchu accent. Now, this is a Missouri horned lark. I mention it because the horned lark lives all over the Northern Hemisphere, North America as well as Europe and Central Asia. Because the species thrives in so many locales, 42 subspecies have evolved, and the facial pattern varies widely. There may be less yellow or none at all. There may be more yellow. It's a bit surprising that horn larks succeed at being as secretive as they are, considering that they prefer barren terrain. They're ground dwellers, but they don't hide in tall grasses. What they want is rocky terrain with sparse grasses only a couple of inches high. That's where they nest, for instance. The female chooses a depression in the ground and they hunker down behind some spindly weed to raise a family. Horned larks forage on the ground as well, eating seeds and bugs. Now in that kind of terrain, seeds are easy enough to find. And though bugs are relatively scarce, their cover is sparse too. So it works well enough. In fact, the horned lark favors hunting bugs on asphalt if a little traveled road is handy because bugs are completely exposed there. He moves at, I almost said a trot, except that his gait is too smooth to be called trotting. His body sits steady atop legs that whir like bicycle wheels but with enough abrupt stops and swerves to shred a pair of bike tires in a month. When he's in a hurry, they blur like the spokes on bike wheels. I'm not sure why the lark is body slamming this caterpillar, grub, unless he just doesn't want it squirming as it goes down his throat, who knows? because if that's a caterpillar, the lark probably knows that its bite isn't poisonous. Bird parents teach their offspring which foods to prefer and which are not safe. Of course, despite all the best parental training, a body can still sometimes get more than he bargained for.